Right now, a nonprofit near and dear to News 3 Now raises money to help children with special needs and their families. A closer look at Geo Gardens Holiday Party. December showers bring cooler temperatures, but how cold are we talking? Universities of Wisconsin leaders compromise with the state legislature to unlock funding for them. We take a look at the details. That's all coming up at 10. Well, we ended the work week with sunshine and temperatures in the mid-50s, but changes are in the forecast. Some wet weather might move in while we're sleeping before we hit a band of cool air. Meteorologist Alex Harrington has the plans to end your weekend in the first warm forecast. Alex? Yeah, Armin, you got it all correct there. I, I don't even need to do the forecast. You just said all those right things. The showers are going to move on in overnight tonight. It's uh, We still have some partly cloudy skies above us right now, but those clouds will fill on in. Well, well let's track those showers there, Armin and friends here. Dane County, nothing right now. We zoom on out to the rest of the area. These showers are going to be moving in. There we go. If you just look just south of Monroe right now. Finally, some of those green returns, as we call that in the weather world, starting to move towards the north. But our six hour future track radar really lighting up Two, three o'clock in the morning. See those yellows and oranges moving right across much of the area. Could have some heavy downpours even with some of this rain shower activity as we go on into your Saturday morning time frame. Probably wondering temperatures, Alex. OK, will it be warm enough for all rain? Yep. We've got 40 in Madison, 45 in the Dells, 45 to the south of Monroe, 39 to the west in Lone Rock. That's one of the cooler spots, but these temperatures are all warm enough here for rainfall. 40, 41, 43 across Dane County here, folks. So very mild. Normal highs are in the middle 30s for this time of year, and it's 10 o'clock at night, and I'm not even in a jacket. And I ain't complaining either. Temperatures around 39 with those showers at 7 o'clock in the morning. They move on out with highs around 42 degrees. Thanks so much, Lori and Baraboo. Stunning photo there. We'll look at more viewer photos coming up in Maine weather. We'll track the showers hour by hour. We'll look at snow chances and just how cold that mercury is going to go. Coming, all on, coming on up soon, Armand and friends. Don't have too much fun out there, Alex. Well, the University of Wisconsin has reached an agreement with state lawmakers that will unlock $32 million of funding previously blocked. Republicans at the Capitol had refused to release the funds if the university system did not eliminate positions in diversity, equity, and inclusion. To get the money, UW had to compromise on those DEI positions. According to a draft agreement, the system will freeze the number of positions for the next three years. Also, the system agreed to reassign one-third of the current DEI employees to other positions. Here's what UW-Madison Chancellor Jennifer Manukin had to say about the deal. This isn't getting rid of DEI, nor is it completely business as usual. We've agreed to partly reimagine how we go about our work to emphasize student success, which already, of course, is an incredibly important priority. This comes amid a wide-ranging deal that will include funding for a new engineering building on the UW-Madison campus and pay raises for university employees. The System Board of Regents will meet tomorrow morning to discuss the plan. If approved, the legislature would have to release the funds by the end of the year. The lawyer considered an architect of the Trump fake electors plot is cooperating with Wisconsin state investigators in hopes of avoiding more criminal charges. Kenneth Chesbro has already pleaded guilty to the conspiracy in Georgia. It's not just investigators in the Badger State he's assisting. Sources tell CNN he's working with investigators in Michigan, recently testified to a grand jury in Nevada, and has been in contact with prosecutors in Arizona. And ahead of next year's elections, the city of Beloit is looking to make its polling locations safer by potentially moving them out of schools. Four of Beloit schools serve as polling places on election days. The city is working with the school district, the League of Women Voters, and other organizations to plan and propose new locations. A city council vote on the matter will be held Monday, December 18th, and if approved, changes will be out by the spring election. Now, you're used to seeing Eric and Charlotte here on News 3 Now at 10, but tonight they're spreading holiday cheer at the Geo's Garden Holiday Party Fundraiser. The nonprofit was started by our very own Charlotte Deleste more than a decade ago to help families care for their children with special needs. Our Braden Ross was there to see what it was all about. Braden? Yeah, Charlotte and her husband Ron started Geo's Garden, named for their own son in 2012, to help young children with special needs learn and play and to give their families a well earned break. Geo's Garden board president Hillary Burning was one of the first parents to utilize Geo's Garden's program for her son Colin. Colin passed away in 2020, and now Hillary helps works to help other kids and families in his honor. Geo's Garden to Colin was home. 
when he would walk up to the house, he would say, I'm home, and he loved it. Um, if we would drive westbound on the Beltline, he would get mad if we didn't take the right exit and go to Geo's. So it was a way to stay involved and help the organization grow. Tonight, friends and family of Geo's Garden here in Madison and across the world came together for a live show to raise money for the center. So far this year, Geo's Garden has served 90 children since they started more than a decade ago. They've seen 350 children through graduation from the program at seven years old. Now, I just heard from Hillary. Tonight's fundraising total is already at $90,000 with money still rolling in. If you'd like to donate to support Geo's Garden, you can find all the information you need at geosgarden.org. Thank you, Brayden. Well, demonstrators are pushing Senator Tammy Baldwin to call for a ceasefire in Israel and Palestine. Madison for a World Beyond War and Jewish Voice for Peace have been setting up vigils outside the Senator's Madison office for the past week. Those we talked with say Baldwin should join the other members of Congress who have made public statements for ceasefire and to cut military aid to Israel. There's only so much that letter writing and phone calling and phone banking can do. She needs to see the people in front of her office saying this is wrong, what we are supporting, what our tax dollars are supporting is wrong, and what's being done in the name of Judaism is wrong. Tonight, the United States vetoed a United Nations Security Council resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, continuing to claim Israel's right to defend itself following Hamas's terror attack on October 7th. A new poll put out by the Pew Research Center shows Americans blame Hamas for the current war in Gaza, but most admit that they aren't following the conflict closely. 65% of Americans polled say Hamas bears a lot of responsibility for the war. 35% said the responsibility is on the Israeli government. Americans rate President Biden's response to the conflict mostly negative, with more than 40% disapproving, 35% approving, and 24% unsure about how Biden's handling the situation. The poll was conducted among more than 5,200. Well, President Biden was in Las Vegas for a major rail announcement, but first he expressed condolences following Wednesday's shooting at the University of Nevada and urged Congress to pass meaningful gun control laws. Folks, we got to get smart. There have been over 600 mass shootings in America this year alone. We need to ban assault weapons, high capacity magazines. Pass national red flag laws, as you've done here. Require safe storage and act universal background checks. Three UNLV faculty members were killed when a gunman carried out an attack using a 9mm handgun. He was shot and killed by responding officers. And Biden was in Nevada to announce the country's first ever high-speed rail project, which will connect Las Vegas to Los Angeles in half the time it currently takes to drive. The hope is that it will be complete ahead of the 2028 Los Angeles Olympic Summer Games. It's being funded by the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law, with $3 billion being spent for the project. A teenage student who admitted to shooting four of his Michigan classmates to death will spend the rest of his life in prison with no chance at parole. Seven others, six students and a teacher, were also wounded when Ethan Crumley began shooting at Oxford High School in November of 2021. Before the judge delivered the sentence, Crumley and the court listened to the impact statements made by survivors and family members of those killed. I was laying on my side like this. And I realized what had just happened. I was just shot and I thought I was going to die. I kept repeating my mom's phone number to make sure my brain was functioning. I was creating math problems in my head and solving them to make sure I wasn't dying. Crumley's parents are awaiting their own criminal trial. They face involuntary manslaughter charges because they gave their son easy access to a gun. From one courthouse to another, a wild brawl that spilled out of a Jackson, Mississippi court resulted in five arrests. To authorities say two parties were attending the hearing of a man married to a missing woman. Family members of the woman believe the husband knows something about her disappearance. And at the end of the hearing, tensions boiled over between the two families. All five people arrested were charged with disorderly conduct. And one of Hollywood's biggest stars of the 1970s has died. Ryan O'Neill, star of Love Story and Paper Moon, died in Los Angeles at the age of 82. While the cause of death was not given, O'Neill had documented fights with both leukemia and stage 4 prostate cancer in recent years. He became a noted advocate for cancer patients as a caregiver of his longtime partner Farrah Fawcett before her death. A ticketing reform bill aimed at bots and resellers has bipartisan support. The bill seeks to make the lives of sports fans and concert goers easier. A year after Taylor Swift's ticket sales were massively disrupted by a technical fiasco at Ticketmaster. 
It's called the Fans First Act, and it would create new restrictions on the ticket resellers and increase protections against online bots that get tickets before real fans. The bill would also force ticket sellers to show the full price of the ticket, not hiding any fees. Ticketmaster's parent company, Live Nation, endorses it. More stories ahead at 10. A retiree in Door County is helping making sure his community is well fed. He's a Meals on Wheels driver, but is often older than the people he's serving. We'll introduce you to him and share why, even at the age of 91, he's still giving back. Happy holidays from our dwellings family to yours. Happy holidays! Salon Pos, makers of powerful pain relief patches for 89 years, believes in continuous improvement, like rounded corners that resist peeling, with an array of active ingredients and sizes to relieve your pain. Salon Pos, it's good medicine. He sent me to. This year, let Ford make the holidays bright and bring everyone together. Go over any type of terrain with Ford Bronco hey, Sport. Dad. How's the weather? All good. And the confidence of goat modes. And the versatile Ford Explorer with available seating for seven. Aww. And with power on demand in the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning, well, that's how Ford is making the holidays bright. See your Ford dealer today during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Are record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.kwwf.org. At Lawton Cates, justice means helping with your medical bills, standing up to the insurance company, and demanding compensation for lost time at work. And there's never a fee until we deliver results for you. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Jennifer Hudson Show. You better get ready! I can't wait to welcome the cast of American Fiction. Jeffrey Wright, Tracy Ellis Ross, and Erica Alexander. Wow! On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. A 91-year-old retired Door County man hasn't slowed down in retirement. Since the 90s, he's been volunteering as a delivery driver for Meals on Wheels. As Caitlin Holt reports, the idea behind his drive to continue helping those in need is something near and dear to his heart. It's fairly quiet in Door County this time of year, but no matter the season, Eugene Jacobs is keeping busy. Uh, I've been delivering meals. Uh, since 1997 when I retired from teaching high school mathematics at Sturgeon Bay High School. It was his late wife Beverly's idea for the couple to volunteer delivering meals on wheels. And the 91-year-old has continued doing it throughout the years. At my age, and I enjoy doing it. I, you, you see these people, they're appreciative, and I, yeah, I, I, I really enjoy doing it. Oren Gunlickson, an 86-year-old man from Sturgeon Bay, Are says having Eugene help to deliver meals is an honor. I've known him for over 50 years. He says Meals on Wheels are a great help. Every day I look forward for my meals. It's really helpful because I've, I've uh, got a walker. Wendy Schubert, the Meals on Wheels coordinator for the Aging and Disability Resource Center, says they deliver to about 60 people in the Sturgeon Bay area each day. We've gotten many folks have said I would not have been able to stay in my home if I did not have this meal coming every day. I would definitely be in a nursing home or assisted living or something like that. Most of the recipients Jacobs delivers to are younger than he is, but this isn't about age. I have a very, very 
nice retirement. I mean, I, I can volunteer, I can play golf, I'm healthy enough to do almost anything I ever did. He says the process isn't that big of a deal. Well, I pick up the meals, and I just drive to the houses and meet the people and deliver the meals. At 91, Jacobs plans to continue his volunteer work, keeping busy in Door County no matter the time of year. I, I don't give up on things very easily. And here in Dane County, SSM Health runs the Meals on Wheels program. If you'd like to volunteer, you can call the number on your screen, 608-276-7598, to learn more about the volunteering opportunities. To find the closest Meals on Wheels program to you, visit MealsOnWheelsAmerican.org. As some police departments nationwide struggle to recruit officers, a remote Minnesota town is offering a unique bonus for new hires, a canoe. And a nice one at that, the town of Ely in the North Woods will provide free Kevlar canoes valued at nearly $3,800 to its newest officers as well as current employees. Lots of departments are offering hiring bonuses to draw on officers, so instead of a cash signing bonus, the department decided to leverage the town's outdoor recreation opportunities about the canoe yeah i love fishing that's what i do on all of my days off so i'll definitely be putting it to good use <laughs> there you go the department consisting of the chief and assistant chief and five slots for patrol officers has one opening with another coming soon and a woman in florida made an ancient discovery while on a recent walk on the beach beth orticelli found a megalodon, meg megalodon there we go shark tooth that's estimated to be around 12 million years old She's a regular on the beach in Venice, and it's not the first shark tooth she's found. She says collecting small triangular shaped teeth from the beach has become a hobby for her, but her most recent find was also her largest. And it was, we, it was this giant thing that like filled up my whole hand. Collectors said the tooth could be worth anywhere from 50 to thousands of dollars. And French President Emmanuel Macron says the iconic Paris Notre Dame Cathedral will reopen in exactly one year. He toured construction there this afternoon, visiting the top of the newly rebuilt spire. The April 2019 fire ravaged the historic site, built in the middle of the 12th century. Notre Dame was the most visited monument in Europe prior to the fire, but will not reopen to the public during the 2024 Paris Summer Olympic Games. Here we go, time for another check of the first warm forecast, and uh, it's feeling a little bit like a Paris summer here, maybe. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, it's really nice out here. Folks, temperatures in the 50s, normal highs are in the middle 30s, Arma. We should be having I know. snow at this time. I shouldn't be going over to the wall here in a second and saying December rain showers. So yeah. this is owing very much to an El Nino weather pattern, which we've been talking about here for really weeks and months, and it's really starting to take its hold. And it develops around Christmas time, so it's not strange for an El Nino pattern to really start showing its itself now so let's go track those December rain showers there we go folks they'll develop overnight lasting on into your Saturday morning colder on your Sunday and staying pretty seasonable for much of next week seasonably cool so to speak as we carry out now let's track the rain showers well I doubt many of you are going to be out during the wee hours of your morning but you might maybe going to take the dog out for a brief stroll that's the best chance when we will see the wet weather as we head towards Saturday at four o'clock lasting towards, let's say, 6 or 8 o'clock in the morning. And as we go out into your Saturday afternoon, that yellow line drops way down to probably dry. So the rain shower activity, folks, is going to be confined to the morning hours and overnight. Wet roads, windshield wipers, you'll need those. Someone like me with glasses and astigmatism, oof, that glare in the roads can be a problem. So be cognizant of that if you do have to do driving overnight. Where are the showers? Well, they're not out here right now in Dane County. Let's zoom on out and see if we can see any of those showers. You've got to go right down to the Wisconsin-Illinois border, down towards Monroe and Janesville. Still pretty far away, but they're going to move north really, really quickly here. Watch this. Our future track radar bringing those showers 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. You even see some yellows and some golds on there. Could see some heavy downpours with these showers. So we head towards 6 o'clock in the morning. We keep moving into Saturday. Those showers moving out to the east. Let's say the Dells to Madison to Janesville. By the time we get to 1 o'clock on your Saturday, that's where the wet weather will move off to the east. Could see a few snowflakes entering portions of, let's say, Richland County, southwestern Wisconsin, briefly sweeping across the area. 
These flurries not expecting to mount to much in the snowfall department, maybe an inch or less up towards Camp Douglas, up towards Adams counties and Marquette and Green Lake counties north of the Dells. Stand the better chances for those snowflakes. Upper 30s to near 40 for the low temperatures tonight, and we'll stay in the lower 40s for your Saturday. Again, normal high temperatures for this time of year are in the middle 30s. Dane County here, watch the showers move through. By the time we get to 9 o'clock, it's Madison and points to the east dry to the west. And it's those dry conditions that will move in. Maybe a sprinkle or two as we go into your Saturday afternoon behind the wet weather system and then cloudy and breezy as we go on into your Saturday evening here. High temperatures over the next 10 days. That line that you see here, that's normal. You see a lot of these temperature bars above the line here. That means above normal temperatures as we go out into the next 10 days and going even further out heading all the way up to Christmas. All this red here means above normal temperatures are expected. Definitely see that in the seven to 10 day forecast, that El Nino type pattern. That's where we see the sunny skies, temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Well, nonetheless, makes for pretty photo time taking. Submit those photos, channel3000.com slash weather, the first one weather app. Thanks, Karen, for sending us that photo there. John, on that foggy morning, it's often see foggy conditions in an El Nino winter. Carla Espona from, from Verona sending us that icy photo there. We will see those lakes try to freeze and then they will thaw in an El Nino winter. Again, thanks, folks, for sending us these weather photos because it's always great to show the weather. And coming up in sports, Carson Bandle was a man on a mission for Wisconsin. What the Badger forward did for the first time in his career. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Toyota Thon is on. Time to make the holidays picture perfect with a new Toyota. We're going to need a bigger tree. Get 3.99% APR plus $1,000 cash back on Tacoma when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota, let's go places. Stella uses AT&T for her internet and mobile service. Abby has Spectrum One. The difference is big. With AT&T, Stella pays a lot more. I do? It's $110 a month for AT&T internet and an AT&T unlimited extra line. Plus monthly fees. Ouch. With Spectrum One, Abby gets big savings. Spectrum internet with the most reliable internet speeds. It's really fast. Advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced privacy and security. And an unlimited mobile line with nationwide 5G. All with no added taxes or hidden fees. Now you can get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and a free unlimited mobile line. That's a good deal. I know. With Spectrum One, Abby is saving big. Over $75 a month. That's over $900 in savings. So Stella, what do you think? I'm switching to Spectrum. Spectrum One is a big deal. Call 800-872-0180. Visit Spectrum.com or a Spectrum store today. Are you searching for a fresh career? Then join the team at Chalk D Building Systems. We're expanding now with two Sun Prairie locations, and we're looking for individuals to join our team as assemblers, material handlers, order pickers, and machine operators. Chalk T Building Systems competitive pay starts at $22 per hour plus comprehensive benefits. Three shifts are available with overtime potential, and you'll become part of our 100% employee owned team. Make your next career move on the careers page at chalkd.com. Kayaking is my thing. Running is awesome. But her moderate to severe eczema would make her skin so uncomfortable. I was always so itchy, especially when I was hot. Now my skin doesn't itch as much. Now we're staying ahead of her eczema. There's a power inside all of us to live our passion. And Dupixent works on the inside to help heal your skin from within. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema so they can have clearer skin and less itch. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Healing from within is a wonderful thing. Ask your child's eczema specialist how Dupixin can help heal their skin from within. Toyota-thon is on! Make your holidays a little more magical with a new Toyota. Come in today! 
Get $1,000 cash back on your favorite models when you finance through Toyota Financial Services. Toyota, let's go places. The border battle. It doesn't get any better than that. It's the biggest and best rivalry on ice, and the 2023 edition renewed tonight in Minneapolis. Wisconsin won the last meeting between the two in the Frozen Four semifinals. First period, Badgers down, but not for long. A little tic-tac-toe passing, and Maddie Wheeler lights the lamp to put Wisconsin on the board. Then later in the period, still tied at one, Badgers with a four-on-three advantage, and Kirsten Sims sends a snipe into the back of the net. The Gophers, though, would score the next four goals. They'd win five to three. On the men's side, Wisconsin hosting Penn State, and this was the Carson Bantle show. First period, Bantle sends a one-timer into the back of the net, and he was far from done lighting that lamp. Bantle entered the game with four goals on the season. He finished with seven and his first career hat trick. In fact, Bantle scored in every period. Badgers win six to three. High school boys hockey memorial hosting Verona in a big eight battle. Spartans down, but not out in the first. Riley Boyle finds the puck and the captain fires one into the back of the net to cut the Wildcat lead in half. But Verona would answer right back. Sean Hornsberger finds Henry Mizell He's going to clean up the mess in front of the net. Wildcats go on to win 5-3 the final. For the sixth straight year, Wisconsin Volleyball has found themselves in the Elite Eight. And just one more win stands in their way to a trip to Tampa and the Final Four. And what a journey it's been for this group. Or as Kelly Sheffield likes to say, what a climb it's been. The Badgers have gotten better each and every practice, every set, and every match. And they know they're ready for Saturday's moment things that are happening right now we're playing our best volleyball uh, of the year right now and we haven't played our best volleyball yet uh both those things are are happening it's uh and part of that is is how they're taking care of themselves how they're prepared for the moment uh but also uh being able to play with joy and freedom and uh and, and all of those things are, are kind of coming right there that that they're ready for the moment Wisconsin men's basketball has a top 25 showdown in Tucson on Saturday against the nation's top team in Arizona. And the Badgers, though, they're feeling pretty good about themselves. They enter on a six-game win streak, and they've been doing all the right things, playing good defense, getting to the foul line, and rebounding. And playing good basketball has this team confident that they can play with anyone in the country. Now we're really being able to get to see it. Um, whether that's some guys on the, on the bench that haven't really been in this situation before or the people on the outside. Um, I feel like we're here. Um, we're going to continue to keep better, getting better and better. Obviously, we're a good team. One beat top 25 for no reason. Um, just, you know, no matter what happens, we're going to keep the same same mindset going into every game. And, uh, short term memory with everything. High school girls hoops, New Glarus taking on Oregon in a undefeated clash. Knights down early, but Lindsay Shadowalt doing her best to bring them back. The fadeaway Jay cuts the Panther lead down to one, but Oregon's ranked number nine in Division I for a reason. Sam Schmidt dials one up from deep, and the Panthers stay perfect. They win 73-50. to We're back after this. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for active seniors 55 plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Get four Arby's Classic Roast Beef Sandwiches for just 10 bucks. That's one for now, one after that, one to celebrate the first two, and one more because that's how many four is. Arby's, we have the meat. Give your home a coordinated look throughout with Patriot Lighting. Check out our lighting showroom and update your home's aesthetic. Patriot Lighting is available in so many unique styles and finishes. Choose from our wide variety of 300 indoor lights in stock for under $100. Like this wheel and wall light, now just $39.99. Visit our lighting showroom or check out all our lighting options on Menards.com. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Progress means producing renewable fuels for trucks on the road today. We're partnering with farmers to develop these fuels using everything from plant byproducts to cow manure. 
and then using those fuels to help lower the life cycle carbon intensity of the transportation industry. Driving the world forward today while forging new roads to the future. That's energy in progress. Whatever the holidays mean to you, get the most out of it in a new Honda. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Your holiday adventure awaits with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Hi, I'm Gary Canulty, and I'm inviting you on a holiday vacations tour. Join me March 23rd through April 1st as we become immersed in Hawaiian culture and take in breathtaking views of Oahu, Kauai, and Maui. Enjoy a balance of scheduled must-see attractions and free time to relax in paradise. Visit HolidayVacations.com, keyword WISC for more information and to watch a travel show. Or call 888-557-1020 for a free brochure. Planning a remodel? Don't toss your cabinets, furniture, and appliances. Donate to Habitat Restore. Your items stay out of landfills while proceeds create housing solutions for hardworking families. Build a stronger community with Habitat Restore of Dane County. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for active seniors 55 plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Getting highly mobile kids on Santa's delivery list Monday at 10. We're going to have a very end to the very mild temperatures coming, isn't it? Yes, we will get a little bit cooler this weekend, but relatively speaking, not too bad for this time of year. Lower 30s, that can't be beat for this time of year. Hey, I'm going to add thunderstorm wording in tonight. Might have an isolated thunderstorm or two with this band of showers moving through. You wouldn't think you'd get thunderstorms in December, but, well, El Nino winter, like I've been saying. There we go. Spanish for the Nino. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Weekend Mornings.